Hello everyone and welcome to Erebus Gaming. This is Erebus Inferno and we've got some more Black Ops 3 beta gameplay here with the one and only Erebus Chaos. Let's see how good he does with my signature weapon from Black Ops 2, the M8, your mate. I wonder if it's going to be exactly the same with the nice little burst fire that we've got. And as you can see, we are playing some Domination. I don't know the map name, so I do apologise. Let us know in the comments so I can actually get it right when we start streaming Black Ops 3 when it comes out in November. Very exciting times. So, by the looks of this, they have captured A and they're looking on to moving on to B, but there are no enemies in sight. Where are they? And instead of doing his job of capturing B, he's... Oh, no, he's... I'll let him off. I'll let him off. Fire. We're going to be looking for kills then. Right, okay. So, a simple cap on B. Is there anybody on the enemy team? We have captured C, but we haven't seen any action yet, so God knows what's going on here. We're going to see anything, or is he just going to be running around in a building? We lost Alpha. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, two taken down. Nice clean there. Protecting B like a boss, but they managed to cap A, so it looks like they cycled around. They got C, let us get B, and then they went for A. But we managed to get C back as well, and yes, the M8 is exactly how I remember it. Those four burst weapon, you have to get keen accuracy here. If you've got the accuracy, you can get the kill. Oh, you can get wrecked by some camper with a thermal scope. Brilliant. It looked like a sniper rifle, so I'd probably say he'll probably defend in there, so we'll let it off. But knowing Chaos, he'll probably rage in like a right little bitch then. Ooh, camping in the corner like he normally does. Uh, what's that? Is that a supply drop? UAV? Counter UAV? Nice. Enemies won't be able to see where we are, which is great. We've got someone coming up on the flank. Can he get to him in time? I don't know. He's, ah, right, he's going on C. They're going to be capping C. He's going to easily take... Well, I'm going to say, why? If he failed that then, he would, God, he would have had a right earful. Bloody hell, man. You can see where he is, and you still managed to get shot. That should have been a simple kill. But come on. Let's get some action, man. Come on, get running in there. Run and gun. This is what Black Ops 3 is all about, is running and gunning. Come on. You're supposed to be showing this gun off. Let's see what you've got. Sliding. Ah, I like that. Sliding's cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got fucked up. <laughs> wow. Before he even managed to get sight, something got blown up by someone that looked like a Hellstorm missile, maybe. Losing B. He's still a bit cautious, isn't he, the lad? Come on. It's looking there. There we go. Wow. Come on. Learn to aim. What? Free burst before he gets on target. That is just embarrassing. And we got the swimming. Is there actually... I don't actually see a um, time for swimming. Is that unlimited? So you can stay underwater for as long as, what, as, long as you want. Managed to shoot someone there. Did manage to run away from him. It looks like he has done. We lost Charlie. Well, he's doing all right. He hasn't died yet. Oh no, sorry, he has died, didn't he? Yeah, he got taken out uh, when he was trying to defend B. Does feel a bit slow though. This one, not much action going on. This is a bigger map than the other two that we've seen, so maybe that's what's going on there. Lots of places to hide. Come on, get on to me, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. You don't even know where you shoot. Nice, okay, that's on it. What? Okay, that looks like um, a revive of some sort. That must be one of the specialist abilities. That looks like a uh, last draw from Black Ops sort of thing, where you can come back to life. I can see that being a bit of an annoyance. You're like, oh, killed him. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Nice. Single burst straight to the chest will kill you. That's good. A bit more realistic. We've got some streaks here as well. Looks like we've got a Hellstorm and a supply crate. And that was just so bad shooting. He's there behind you, dude. Ser seriously? Oh man, he's getting so much stick for that. My god, how did he miss him? He was laid down right in front of him. Oh my god. That is embarrassing. This is a Call of Duty veteran you're watching here. And he can't even see someone laying down. And now he's just free firing. He wanted the UAV rather than the kill, and then <laughs> he just, <laughs> wow, I'm shocked at that, I don't really know what to say. What do you guys think? That was just horrible, a horrible gameplay, playing like a right noob, my god. That's shocking. Right, okay, so, if I had this Hellstorm, I think he got a kill for that, and that is some bad shooting. My god, he needs to learn how to shoot, and get that accuracy up. Yeah, he likes taking out these UAVs though. Doing his job there, man. Oh, oh, hide. 
What are you doing? What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> some very questionable play, I have to say. Some very, very questionable play here. And seriously, you just, what was that? What happened there? Oh, you would. <laughs> right, okay, that looked like another specialist ability. Uh, where you put two axes in the ground, it does, sends off a shockwave. Looks like an insta kill. So, stay away from that. Well, that's some interesting... Oh, wow, there we go. We've got the campers in the corners. You know it's the Call of Duty when you've got the corner camping people in it. It's brilliant. And there we Oh, I just stole that kill. Wow, KS or what, man? Bloody hell. And they're losing by 11 points. He's going 9 and 5. Not too bad. He's doing the best in this team. Getting those caps and defending like a boss. Can't really complain there. Let's see if he can pull some accuracy out of somewhere in the second half. And here we go with the final kill. Wow, that guy just got mutilated. Poor guy. Here we go. Half time. Uh, and just in case you haven't watched the previous videos, uh, Domination works slightly differently in Black Ops 3. Instead of a time limit, you don't have one. It basically first to 100, then first to 200. So the game can go on for quite a while. Or it can be ended very, very fast. Depends on how good your team is. So, yeah, no times on this one. Which is a pretty good feature. I, I kind of like this idea because it's now it's more focused about actually getting the full point. So you could be at like 199, get trip capped, and they could manage to pull it back. And that were a nice double, and he's used his specialist ability again there. And it didn't even help. He knew exactly where he was. Why did you keep on looking at him? Wow, he got wrecked then as well. Supply coming in. Let's see what he gets. Yo, yeah, cool. I don't even know what half the score streaks are on this. They're better than advanced warfares. There we go. You got someone trying to nick it. Rolling Thunder. That rings a bell. And he's going to go straight over B. Makes sense. So now they can go and cap B. There's one on your flank. Yep, yep. Thank God he actually saw that guy. Yeah, it's very nice. And I think he got a roll of Thunder Kill. Two. Nice. Three. Wow. Okay, so beef. Oh, whoa. He just got taken out there, man. Ouch. Yeah, he had someone on his six. Can't really do much about that, unfortunately. That sliding's good, though. We haven't seen much of the other features on this one because the map's kind of. Um, open so you can't really see a lot of wall running on this one there will be bits where you can do it where it makes a lot of sense um but yeah this so you're not going to see that feature you have seen the underwater feature though but you haven't seen him shooting uh there seems to be no gravity impact when you're underwater so there's no physics so you can just shoot as you would if you are not in water so maybe needs a bit of a tweak that to be honest nice very simple there and it looks like they're going to be capping c very easily Again, nobody assisting Chaos, which is not very good. This is domination, so it is team-based. It does look like his team are focusing on... where I don't even know where they are. It looks like they're around B area. We've got another UAV, man. This guy is the... Look at that, man. He's a god at taking UAVs down. And that was some sick accuracy. That's looking a lot better. Looking, looking a lot better. Uh, he's had to survive, he's had to use his special ability again. Can he actually make something from it? Yeah, that looks good. He managed to take one out. I'd get into some cover and call a hellstorm if I were you, bro. Nice shooting. Better, this is much better. He might have been a bit rusty, it might have been his first game, so we'll let him off on the two mishaps he made at the beginning of the first half. My god, poor guy. Look at that. Oh, 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 this. Oh, no, I kind of. Um, you know what? Scratch that. Is shit. Did you see that? Really? And he seems to be right in the enemy. Here. Oh, damn. That would have been nice if he got that. That would have been a nice little triple there. Um, oh, got a kill with that. Very good, very good. And we've got another supply drop coming in. He's looking for these UAVs. Can you see them? No, no UAVs up there. That's good. We're going to get out oh, cool. What we got, what we got? A Wraith. What the hell's a Wraith? Oh, right, okay, it must be a machine gun airship, I'm guessing. That looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. Double, triple, bloody hell. Okay. Damn, that seems like a pretty good score streak. I'll have to keep my eyes out on that one. Wow. Oh, oh come on, man. You got outgunned, you wit. Oh. 
Yeah, so what we're going to take from this one is Chaos needs to learn how to shoot. Now that's a better shot in the air as well. That's much better. Come on, let's see more gameplay like that. Uh, okay, okay, what's going on? Okay, we're going to go for B. Can we get to it? He's going to clear that out. Makes sense. His Rafe is still in the air as well. Pretty cool. Ah, nice. Right, okay, so they got B again. They're still two points behind. <laughs> Actually got a hit marker there as well. Brilliant. Right, they're in front. Brilliant. Nice. This looks like a comeback. So, guys, whilst we are watching Chaos use the M8, what do you guys think of this weapon? Let us know in the comments. I personally like the weapons that are not fully automatic, so I can kind of like the single shot weapons, like the FAL, if that's in this game, I'm not too sure. Or the M8 is probably going to be one of the most favourite guns I use. Uh, just for the uh, just for the reason that you know I like these weapons. They require a lot of accuracy, but they've got a lot of power behind it. So if you're good with your aim, which Chaos is showing us how not to aim, because he just got outgunned there ridiculously, and he fired off about six bursts there, man. Come on, that were awful. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be using this one. Let us know what your favourite gun is, uh, what you think of this one, and what you think of Black Ops 3 so far. If you managed to play the beta, what did you think to it? And yeah, nice kill there, bro. Very good. That's much better. And they've got a rolling thunder, another one. That's getting some decent stuff out of these care packages. I would go there, that makes sense, yep. Coming in on the flank. Um, why is it going this way around? I don't know. Ah. Yeah, we have... There we go, we turned it around, we were losing the first half, and it just shows if you're persistent, you can. And it is very possible that you can turn a game around and win it. And there you go, 199, 200, 200, 176. Smashed it, 32-10, 7 caps, 7 defends, team, player, and very, very good game. Showcasing the M8, and a lot of other specialist abilities going on there, but this was an M8 gameplay and an M8 review. To me, it looks good, you just need to be able to use the gun, <laughs> which Chaos will need to learn how to shoot. So, hopefully you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one.